everyone. So today I'm going to solve the question based on some basic concepts of chemistry. Hope that you find this particular question very useful for your preparation. So let's actually talk about the question statement. The question says FeSO4 undergoes decomposition as 2FeSO4 in the solid state giving us Fe2O3 plus SO2 plus SO3. So we are actually getting two gases in the product side, sulfur dioxide and sulfur trioxide gases. Now, at 1 atm and 273 Kelvin, if 7.6 gram FeSO4 is taken, then the volume occupied by the gases. So, we want to calculate out the volume that is occupied by these two gases, sulfur dioxide and sulfur trioxide. The options have been given to us says it's 22.4 liter, 11.2 liters, 1.12 liter or 2.24 liter. Let's solve this particular question. So over here majorly what we need to calculate out is the volume occupied by the gases at standard conditions, 1 atm pressure and the temperature is 273 Kelvin. That is what we need to find out. Yes ma'am. Now if I just write this equation again twice of FeSO4 in the solid state giving us Fe2O3 in the solid state plus sulfur dioxide in the gaseous state plus sulfur trioxide in the gaseous state. From the stoichiometry of this particular reaction, what we actually find is that the two moles of FeSO4 is actually giving us one mole of sulfur dioxide as well as one mole of sulfur trioxide. Okay, that's the main basic thing. Now, initially, let's calculate out the molecular mass of FeSO4. What will be the molecular mass of FeSO4? It will be equals to, uh, if I just talk about the atomic weight of Fe, it's basically 56. Of sulfur, it's 32. And of oxygen, there are 4 oxygen atoms, so 16 fours are 64, which is equals to 152 grams per mole. That's absolutely right. Yes, ma'am. That's absolutely right to us. So, I can also write one particular thing that 2 moles of FeSO4 is actually giving us 1 mole of sulfur dioxide and 1 mole of sulfur trioxide. That is what I need to write. Now, at STP, what we know that at standard temperature and pressure, what we know that, that the temperature, these are the standard conditions. Temperature is 273.15 Kelvin. Yes, ma'am. P pressure is equals to 1 atm. Absolutely right. V volume. If I just talk about what is the volume, that is equals to 22.4 liter. That means this particular volume is equals to 22.4 liters when number of moles is equals to 1 mole. When number of moles is equals to 1 mole, 1 mole of ideal gas. 1 mole of ideal gas we are talking about. So, 1 mole of ideal gas, okay, it basically occupies 22.4 liters of the volume at the standard condition. This is what we have studied so far. Yes, ma'am. So, what we can say over here, this is what 1 mole of sulfur dioxide we are getting plus 1 mole of sulfur trioxide. That means we are having in total 2 moles. Yes. So what will be the volume occupied by them? It will be 2 into 22.4 liters. Yes. And over here we can say that 2 moles of FeSO4 basically gives us 2 into 22.4 liters of the total gas I am talking about. Okay, volume occupied by the total gas. And those total gases, if I just talk about, it includes SO2 and SO3. That's absolutely right. Yes, ma'am. So, this 2 cancels out with this 2. Now, we can say 1 mole of FeSO4, it gives us 22.4 liters of the total gases that is evolved in the product. Now, 1 mole of FeSO4 means we are talking about, what we are talking about? 152 grams of FeSO4. Okay, it gives us 22.4 liters of the gas. This 22.4 liter is the overall amount of the gas. This is overall amount of gas. Okay. Now, in the question, we have been given 7.6 grams of FeSO4. So, we can say, hence, hence, 7.6 grams of 
एफ ई एस ओ फोर इट विल गिव अस हाउ मच वॉल्यूम ऑफ द गैसेस इट विल बी इक्वल्स टू ट्वेंटी टू पॉइंट फोर मल्टीप्लाइड बाई सेवन पॉइंट सिक्स डिवाइड बाई वन फिफ्टी टू ओके एंड इट कम्स आउट टू बी वन पॉइंट वन टू लीटर्स ओके सो दिस वन पॉइंट वन टू लीटर इज बेसिकली दी टोटल वॉल्यूम ऑफ दी गैसेस दैट इज कमिंग आउट इन द प्रोडक्ट साइड इंक्लूडिंग सल्फर डाइऑक्साइड एंड सल्फर ट्राइऑक्साइड विच मीन्स इट इज ऑप्शन नंबर सी द राइट आंसर फॉर द क्वेश्चन आस्ट फॉर